may not understand this, but this is what I do in my garden, and this is what I'm doing today. For the power of hell will hear the sound of the prophets throughout the earth. Give them a shout. Take away the veil and open up my eyes and let me see your light shining in the night. Open up my eyes that I may see you face to face and touch your holy grace. to me now my answer to you is this if God is dead who is this living in my soul what I want you to know is in him we live and in him we move and in him we have our being I was lying in a street overdosed with heroin at the age of 18 dying no religion had touched my heart and that day I remembered where I heard the name Jesus and I said, Jesus, if you still walk the streets, I want you to walk over to me now and to heal me and touch me. And that very moment while I was lying in that alley, a man walked over to me and lifted me up. I was dying, bleeding to death from a stab wound. And suddenly he entered me. It's as quick as that. That same presence is here today to touch you in your home, to touch your child that has run away on drugs or whatever the case may be. Nothing is impossible. And His presence today will destroy everything that is trying to overtake you. Close your eyes, lift your hands. Take away the veil and open up my eyes. And let me see your light shining in the night. Open up my eyes that I may see you face to face and touch your holy grace.
And I want you to pray this prayer. Lord, I can feel something. I reach out to you and ask you now, come into my life. Come into my home, into my body. I surrender to you this moment. Take my fear. Take my anxiety. Take my stress. And fill me with your Holy Spirit right now. He says this to you. Just for you. I gave my life. Only for you. I gave my blood. I gave my hands. On the cross. Just for you, only you, just for you, only you. Just for you, yes. Moses said these words, he said, uh, because we have hope, we use boldness of speech. If you knew you were going to win a race, you would be bold at the start of the race. That's the beauty of the prophetic, is God gives you a glimpse of the end. So boldness may enter you in the beginning. The words that came today, we're under a great unction that was upon me before we even started of great spiritual warfare. I could hear and sense powers of hell gnashing their teeth with anger because someone would dare to rise up and pray with a people called the warriors of the new millennium. Those who I raised up in the 90s was never a waste of time to pray. And you, all of you that are standing watching, you know, that we have entered into a realm that has touched God and removed the presence of gloating spirits of darkness. And take away the veil and open up my eyes and let me see your light shining in the night. Open up my eyes that I may see you face to face and touch your holy grace. And take away the veil Take away the veil Open up my heart And let me hear your words Whisper in my ear The sound I love to hear As your presence draws me near Into my destiny my worship draws you near You gently welcome me I gently welcome you In Jesus' name we pray you'd receive it. It's beautiful. It's called Freedom for the Soul and I call it There's No Place Like Hope.
do something to you? You know what it did? It brought you peace and hope. 